This is Twit. Apple's Touch ID. We've many people have experienced sort of what's described or feels like a fade of the recognition of their thumb or finger or whatever. And there have been a number of suggestions for fixing that. For example, and I, and I had suggested that you could th – there are, there are – I think it's maybe five slots that Apple makes available where you can register fingers. And I said, well, rather, rather than registering different fingers – how about registering the same finger in different slots? Therefore, essentially giving it more opportunity to find a match. Well, it turns out that there is a way to what I call overtrain, to overtrain the recognizer. And through, a, so through, through some experimenting, it's possible to demonstrate to yourself that the overtraining is actually happening. And what I think will end up being understood at some point after we sort of collectively get more experience with this is that there was the typical trade-off made between user convenience and, and recognition percentage, meaning that during the typical training, they would probably have loved to have three times more fingerprints. But this was brand new. No other phone had this technology. This was Apple's first. And I'm sure that the UI guys said, well, you know, the, if we got more fingerprints, we'd get a better sample. We'd be able to eliminate noise by, by, by comparing multiple reads. Um, you know, I mean, we could just do a, a much better sample if we got more, but you know, the, 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 the human factors guy said, oh, well, you know, we just can't ask people to sit there pressing that button all morning that, that you know, we can't. So someone made, you know, a, a decision. Well, OK, we'll take this many samples and I'm sure they tried it and it seemed good enough. Well, apparently for some people, that's not good enough. So here's how you can. Just you can give your phone as much of a sample size as you want. You, you, it will never give up on you. It will never get tired of accepting additional fingerprint data. And what I've learned is it absolutely goes far out the curve in terms of recognition. I now never get a miss. So you just go, you open the settings app the standard little wacky looking gear thing, you know, settings, then go under general and then touch ID and passcode is the next level. And then in there you go into, well, I think when you do touch ID and passcode, it requires you to enter your passcode at that point to get into the touch ID section. So then go into touch ID at the bottom of that screen is a list of the registered fingerprints and it is training there. So that if you give it a fingerprint like the thumb that you normally use, you will see that item, it, it actually, well, it, it highlights by going dark briefly and then coming back. It also was a training event. You can verify oh, that it is that's interesting. It's taking more readings just within yes. that spot. Yes. Huh. Yes. And it never gets tired of doing so. Now, how do you verify that, that it is actually adding a reading? The way you can verify is you can you can do something that it won't read. Like you say you give it way too far out at the end of your thumb mm -hmm. where it hasn't been trained. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice like, and like, 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 like do something like that where it won't recognize it. And, and convince yourself it doesn't know the end of your thumb. Then back to go back to the trained area and in multiple trainings slowly move forward so that you're ex essentially expanding the recognized area of your thumb surface and you can walk it right back out to the same area that it used to not recognize and now it will interesting so, they yeah, don't so they don't tell people this no, none of this is documented. I was how just interesting. Messing, so you're not around. in the train. You're not actually training. It's in the screen before you say, "Let's go, let's train," 
and it's Correct. keeping track and it's actually doing training. Yes. They must have put that there on purpose. Yes. Well, they see they would like yeah. more samples. Right. But someone someone said, "No, no, no. We can't, you know, only ask them for 10, otherwise, it, you know, it's just going to seem like it's too much." It's broken. It does. In yeah, fact, it's much. annoying. It takes a while to do it. Yeah. Yeah. But now, so so here what they're doing is they're just sort of sneaking some more samples from you. They're just sort of like, you know, you put your finger on it and it says, "Oh, yeah, that's the one." Like and and I assume that if you had like multiple fingers trained, then when you put different fingers on, the proper one would highlight. Well, it's also sneaking another sample from you. We can use that ah. in order to just overload it with samples. So that's and how if you have multiple samples on there, it says, oh, y it highlights the one that you're using. So it says, oh, yeah, I recognize that. I recognize that. But it's at correct. the same time recording more yes. data points. Very, yes. very sneaky. Actually, in, yeah, in so a good way.